ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. All right, y'all, so we're diving straight into game two of RQ Hoshi versus AP Bren. Let's see. Let me look at the team comps. Let's see what I like. Let's see which one I like. Uh, Vexana always hurts, man. Vexana always hurts. It's not bad. I like Hoshi right there. The The Minnow can be annoying, too. Minnow, Minnow starting off poking Grok. They got a Grok. I don't like the Grok pick. I don't like Grok. I'm not a fan of Grok. Um, Kyle Teasy. I don't, I'm not a fan of that jungler. Let me see who he's going against. Yeah, I think that Hoshi has a better jung, jungle, the character-wise anyway, in my opinion. I'm not a fan of Baccia. Um, Flap Teasy, let's see who he's going into. Uh, I prefer his, I prefer Flap's pick. Few. I don't know. It'll be interesting, man. This will be interesting. I, I prefer... If I had to pick a team comp, I would say that Hoshi has a better, you know, a better a better comp in my opinion. I think that they drafted better here, especially depending on... I'm not a fan of Benedetta because I'm trash on Benedetta, but I know that Benedetta can be very useful if you're actually good, which obviously if they're playing it at this level, then you're probably good. So, yeah, it's, it, would, it would be a horrible pick for me. Chances are I would lose the game for me, but... Even though I don't like the pick, I know that they play at a different level, so I got to respect it here. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what should be happening with, with the comp difference right now. What's going on? Did, was there some type of... uh? I guess there was some type of pause or delay or something. Okay. They're setting up the gank flap. Look at that. They shouldn't be able to go for no turtles here. Like, with this comp, they shouldn't be able to go for the no objectives, bro. Like, they can just zone all day. And then you got somebody who can summon a lord. Minnow can just all that anytime. It's like they, they have a, a very, very good comp, bro. Like, yeah, Hoshi. Look at the gold lead. Gold lead already up to 1,000 in the favor of Hoshi. Okay. Nice. Uh oh, it looks like they're invading him. They're invading the Fredrin. Oh wait, no. Look like they was just harassing a little bit. What are you doing? Like he's passing the bunch. Bro, RRQ, I'm not going to lie, bro. RRQ is very, very bad when it comes to the macro, bro. They literally just have better, stronger, earlier mechanical-based heroes. They, I think that the draft was better. I think I believe they have a better draft, bro. They're not very good at the macro, bro. My man's walked past his purple buff. He walked past the green camp. He walked past the enemies. Like, like what are you doing, bro? Like, you're a jungler? My man's was a, my man's a jungler who touched nothing in the jungle and accomplished nothing else. Like, I don't know about that man. Not not a decision that I would necessarily make, but look at that. See, they're they're fighting. They're, this is what they're good at. There's nothing in like they're they're two towers back diving a kill. And I mean, it could be effective if you just dominate the enemy team like this all game because, listen, dead people can't push lanes. Dead people can't clear lanes. So, logically, if you keep the enemy team dead, you're going to win the game. But <laughs> my man's is not – this team is not very good when it comes to the macro at all. That's what I'm noticing about um, RQ. They're, they're, they're better mechanical players, man. They're, they're aggressive. They're good mechanical – and it depends on their pick. If they draft better, that's what it comes down to. If they draft better, they're they're good mechanically, but the turtle was reset. I mean, look at that. He's lost. Like they might as well just go chase kills, bro. They know they want to. 
Just go chase kills. Y'all not gonna focus the turtle. Y'all don't focus macro. Just kill something. Kill something, then get a free turtle. That's all you gotta do. What what am I witnessing right now? This is the most weird, ugly fight that I've done seen, bro. Who gonna get this turtle? Let's see. Okay. Secure by the mage. Then Brody comes up, gets a kill. All right, respect. It was just on the tank though, but I mean. And the gold lead, the gold lead isn't that far behind, but that's not surprising because even though it's like RRQ isn't really doing anything that would put the gold lead that far behind. They don't focus on the macro. They're focusing on killing. So that's crazy. Let's see. Let's look at Fretchen's rotations. What do you got going on? He's taking his blue right now. Let's see where he goes after this. He's probably not going to go to his green camp. No, he's going to go hunt kills, right? Yep, he goes mid lane to hunt kills. And I mean, he got one. <laughs> he got one. Which makes that worth it. Literally, so that 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 strat seems to just be nonstop attacks. I don't know about this, but like like what are they doing, bro? It's like I I believe that they gonna win because they got a better comp. I believe Hoshi's gonna win, but it's simply because like what the heck can what the heck can Bren's comp do against this? Like, that's really, like, I don't even know how this draft ended up happening. This actually makes me want to go back and look at the draft to see what, what, what was going on. But, yeah, it's like, it's really nothing that, that their comp can do. Like, realistically, RRQ should be dominating this game a lot harder. They should be securing every, every objective. Every lane should be pushed heavy. Eesh. There we go. That should be a push. Push down the mid lane. And if the enemy stay, kill him. Or secure the Lord. Uh-oh, look like the tank might go down here. Yep. Okay, but it's cool because Vexana summoned the whole Lord. Okay, nice Lord secure. Brody's not playing bad. Brody's Brody's actually doing really good. To be fair, he's really the, the only one on that team that can, you know, accomplish anything, honestly. He's the only one who can, like the team's job would be to keep protecting him and let him try to pick off as many of them as they can. Like that's really the only play here for Bryn. Like, cause I mean, they have a lot of sustainability, which is why they're not getting completely swept. But yeah, that goal lead starting to, you know, get some distance there. Cause with them, with them losing towers, there's less that they can do, less that they can farm. Yeah. That's crazy. So RRQ really pushes lanes by attacking and annoying and they attack people so much that the, the minions just push for the, themselves. It just push the lanes themselves. Like they don't go for the objectives. Like, they, the objectives are secured as a byproduct of them 
attacking people and winning attacks. I'm not a fan of that strategy, but I mean, if you are a dominant, if you're a dominant aggressor, it, it works. It definitely works. I can see how this could potentially be overwhelming for some teams, but yeah. What we going on? What's happening? What we got? Okay. I don't know about that. That might be that that could be raps to be honest. Let me see. Yeah, that's the marshman. No, not really. He's not not down for enough time. See, this should be pretty much a free Lord. I mean, the enemy team can't really do nothing about them taking Lord at this point. It's still a gold difference, even though it's not a, a, as big of a kill difference. And what's crazy is it's not that much of a kill gap. It's not that much of a kill. Well, it's not a kill gap at all. But look at the gold gap. It should not be this even. Like, it's a 50-50 chance of them actually winning a fight when they are way more fed. That should not be how that is going right now. I think it's definitely showing signs that Bren could be a stronger team, to be fair. I think, I, I, I honestly believe Bren is the stronger team, to be fair. I think that they had a poor draft right here. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, though. Like, RRQ is... Is strong. RQ is definitely strong. Like they, there's some very dangerous aggressors, bro. Very dangerous aggressors, bro. Like their attacks is relentless, coordinated and sync. It, I can see how that would be tough to take on, but you focus on the macro and it changes the game a lot, man. GG, bro. That was a good game. That was definitely a good game. I think it came down to draft, but good game nonetheless. I like it.